I saw a uh, post on one of the bottle pages I'm on, and I plan to post this here, but I'm going to try and do an experiment. We recently saw somebody who came in with a very rusty padlock. This isn't the exact padlock, but they got it to the point where it opens and closes. I don't think this one's going to get to that point, but you never know. I dug this about a year ago, and I haven't gotten to cleaning it up, but this whole video and its whole controversy has decided to make me try and clean this up. So I'm going to go get some vinegar, put this in for three days, and we'll see what happens. So here's our vinegar. I decided to go with apple cider vinegar because it has more acidity than your regular vinegar. And I figure that will clean it up twice as nice. So let's uh, open up the cap here and we'll completely submerge this in the vinegar. There we go. Okay. There we have it inside of the vinegar. The only scrubbing I've done on this lock is just to get the dirt off because I've been keeping this upstairs and I don't feel like having dirty stuff in my house. So we'll uh, see you in three days. You're gonna have to excuse the coffee pot making noise, but I know it's been more than three days. But look. The chain uh, I had to take off to uh, get to most of the rust, but I can just put that right back on. Isn't this great? That's uh, not three days in vinegar. I you know I originally said three days, but um, yeah, that's however many days it took from the first calendar day I showed till now. Yeah. Life caught up to me and I kind of had to uh, do more important things besides clean out an old lock, but I'm extremely surprised and happy with how this came out. S and Company. There's a little rust there. I still have to take a wire brush to it. Um, how I got this out was, I thought that this was locked and I wasn't able to get it unlocked, but I can't see the little components inside. There's the lock itself. I really wish I had the key to this thing, but even that probably wouldn't work now. Um, most of the moving parts I got going by uh, the force. I had to pull on this really hard in order to get it off. It's a risk, but, you know, what else am I losing besides, you know, the top part to the lock? I put this in a pure apple vinegar solution, and I only had to change the solution once. I left it for about maybe a week on the second uh, part of the solution, and it came out with this rusty film on the very top that I can only describe as looking like hot chocolate only not so delicious smelling. It smelled like pure metal. But, yeah, this is pretty damn great. Um, I'm not sure if this proves... You know, there are people watching right now that are watching this just to see if the other post... You'll know what I'm talking about if you're on that page. If the other post was correct. And I have to say, I'm liking the results. And that's our lock. All done. It still swings, opens. These things were really built to last. And I'm very impressed with how this project ended.